Uh, good afternoon, everyone. First, a uh, brief introduction about myself. Um, I joined uh, Creative Commons China Mainland in 2009. At that time, I was a journalist in the English magazine. And after I gave an uh, interview with uh, the project team, and I feel I need to join. Uh, so now I'm working uh, renewable energy company in Beijing, and my role here is uh, China marketing manager. So today I'm going to introduce uh, an OER event we held for three consecutive years, and by the cooperation with uh, Wenzhou Medical University volunteering team. Thank you. First, a brief introduction about uh, what is the summer cap and how we connect with the Wenzhou Medical University. Uh, actually, we get a connection because one of the, our students graduated from Remy University, then joined the Wenzhou University as a teacher. So she introduced the CC program to the senior management, then we get connected. And uh, they have a volunteering team during the summer vacation for more than five years when we knew them. Uh, they will send uh, several volunteering teams to different places in, the, uh, in Wenzhou City to help uh, some students like in remote areas to get knowledge sharing and to give some volunteering lectures to them. So that's how we connected. And uh, for the past three years, including this year, 2015, we held a, sm a three summer camp Actually, want to share with you a video about where is Lush Island. The Lush Island is a small island besides the Wenzhou city, and the, all the villagers uh, living there depends on the ferry boat, which is three times a day. So the uh, traffic, the transportation there is not very convenient. So let me try whether I can play the video or not. Uh, this video took by our volunteering team about some sceneries of this island. So it's not a very big island. And this video also released on the CC by license. You can see the very beautiful views of there, but at the same time, because it's a bit isolated and uh, the students uh, in this uh, island what, what they can get is uh, a bit different from, from what our students can get from the big cities Some university student they registered as a volunteer from the university. So we cooperated with one of these teams for three years.
So now I'm, in, I'm going to int introduce what we did for this summer camp. So this is our, um, this year's volunteering team. Uh, more than 200 students registered, but uh, for our team it's uh, around 30%, 30%. First, we've done uh, the students in the village, they need to get a free registration to join our course. Then we'd present them some featured course. And uh, we also have some entertainment moment, like the student would uh, have a show about their personal skills. And after the one week summer camp uh, completed, there is a mini graduation ceremony. All courses released uh, under CC by license. And for this year, around 100 students re uh, registered to take our courses. These are the courses we introduced this year. The hand Chinese clothing, hand this back to like 2,000 years ago. And also about uh, culture China, we introduced some printing skills. And the third one uh, on the left hand side is like uh, how to protect yourself from sexual assault. Uh, for this course, actually, we introduced the pictured book by a student. She just enjoyed. We think now this kind of education is very important for students in primary schools. And the fourth one is uh, how to save yourself from a shipwreck. Of course, they live in the island, right? It's the necessary lesson for them. This is the student show. We held some singing test, some martial art test, and some students, they play some music instrument. This is our mini graduation ceremony. And we also, uh, depending on the donation, we provide some small sum of scholarship to some good performance student. This is what we achieve. Uh, like I just mentioned, originally, uh, of course, uh, they live in an isolated island, so the teaching facilities there is really not good. And after uh, eight years of volunteering event, uh, the school attracted some media attention and also including some local commercial groups. So they intended to make some donations to them. And the school used these donations like to renovate their schools and also the classrooms equipped with some like multimedia devices. After the summer camp done, we held a, a satisfactory survey, like more than 8% students and including their parents, they feel very much satisfied with uh, our activity. So this is the scholarship we provide for them. And for the past three years, uh, for the past eight years, um, we also donate like uh, 20,000 books or ready materials for them. There are some feedbacks, both from our volunteers and from those students who took our summer cap. Thank you. Thank you for listening. I am really appreciate that. Maybe some of you have uh, got this uh, postcard, and all this postcard uh, released on the CC BY license, and it was made by our volunteers from uh, Wenzhou Medical University. Thank you.